dream. You are falling. Lost in the listening distance. As dark locks in. <laughs> Nightfall. Good evening. Have the seasoned spirits caught up to you yet? Or have they let you down? Tonight's play is guaranteed to pick you up. Of course, we can't promise where it'll place you in the end. Or when. The play by Tom McDonnell is called Reunion at the Victory Cafe. David, well, if you really want a drink, you are, if you want a drink, there must be a hundred pubs within a block of the hotel. How much? Why, you insist on this? This, uh, what is this place, David? The Victory Cafe. It's something special, ain't it? There you go, David. Thank you, sir. Victory Cafe is a very special place. David? Right. Sorry. Uh, what, honey? I said, David, you... You haven't listened to anything I've said all day. I said, why drive me halfway across it's London? It's a tree. It's a tree, okay? Now, come on. Okay. Very special. This is not bringing London. No, but it is very special. I'll tell you about it in time. He's on the wireless, calling for blood, sweat, and tears. But somehow there are bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover, a nightingale still sings in Berkeley Square, and here inside the Victory Cafe, young airman downs the last pint before heading back to his aerodrome. Two lovers arrange a final meeting on Waterloo Bridge, and two Americans, but we're Canadians. Of course you are, two Canadians share a quiet trip. Tomorrow is D-Day. Uh, we have a reservation. A reservation, sir? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, David Whitaker. Uh, Whitaker, yes, sir. Right this way, sir. Right this way, madam. David, what have you got us to Over here, sir. Indulge me. I can't believe that I'm enjoying it. Down. Uh, you must be wore out from walking all over London, eh? No. Yes. Uh, well, tonight you can sit comfortable and drink in history, eh? The empire and brave little England together. Uh, yes. Backs against the wall. You're there now, in the dark days, in the blackout, in the blitz. <laughs> yes. yes. You can almost hear the bombs fall. Uh, I haven't set you too close to the piano, I hope so. But no, no. It's that time of year. See, tourists are arriving in bulk these days. Yes, Americans, Canadians, back to see the old country. Of course, we get the old folks. Yes. Oh, yes, the kids, well, they just want to go down to Carnaby Street, eh? Yeah. Find out where the Beatles live. Swinging yeah. London. Yeah, right. Where's George Harrison got his house? <laughs> well, the grown-ups have a different idea, eh? Come to the victory. Uh, what do they want with long hair and rock music? I can show them a good time here, eh? Make a few bob myself. Look at Totally authentic wartime pub. Just the way it was when it was last year in the 1940s. Look at it. Entirely authentic. Suitable for Dad's army. Business is good, then. Oh, yes. Terrific. 
Parkview actors to dress up in uniforms and presto, 1940. Hit to the bliss. Special rates for veterans who say dinner and drinks, sing song by the piano, and just a few tears. <laughs> Now we can pack this place three or four nights a week. Oh, good. Yeah, it's great. It's like the Legion on Saturday night. You'd be surprised at the effect after a pint or two. You just sort of squint a little. And it really is the time and place. The genuine article. You two are awfully young to be here. Oh, well. You don't get many like you. You weren't even born when this lot was on. My father knew it. He was here in Warsaw. Was he, sir? Well, now, he would like this. Coming back to breathe it all in one more time. When the world was young, when girls were young and willing. Oh, I think some of this lot would like to go back to the time when old men waged wars and young men fought them. Eh? Yeah. Anyway, drinks at the bar when you want them. Thanks. Oh, I'm uh, Reg, by the way. Anything you need, you just call. Oh, good evening, good evening, sir. Welcome. When the world was young, when the girls were young and willing. Come on, <laughs> I am interested in the boys as young and willing. Just sit back and enjoy it. It's a fabulous forties, okay? We'll have a few drinks and then some dinner, maybe. Why is this place so special to you, David? Huh? Why? I mean, we come here, England and all that. This is a once-in-a-lifetime trip. David, we're spending money. God knows. And when we don't spend the money in this whole time, we... David, you're not listening. Because my father was here, honey. Your father? In the victory? Yes. He was in the army in the war. Stationed over here. 1944. My father would come here and have a drink or two. Oh. Play domino. My father was... David. David, what's the matter? Over there. Over there. Oh, my God. Yeah, David. I can are you a oh, Quick, again. He's in the car. Who was it? He looked just the way he always did. In the front of the Oh, David. David? David? Where are you going? I just... Uh, I'll, I'll get some drinks. Just this fight, eh? Yes, sir, Mr. Whitaker? Oh, uh, two pints of beer, sir. Oh, certainly, sir. Oh. I'll have some cigarettes, too. I'll get them on the other bar, sir. Just a moment. Hello. Oh! Mind if I sit down? Mm, no. No. I'm Lolly. Oh. Um, my husband's just gone for drinks. Your husband? Yes. Is that him over by the bar? Yes. He's a fine-looking boy. David. Are you one of the actors? Pardon? Your uniform. Are you with the army? The army, yes. Poor bloody infantry. And that's what you do, Danny. I mean, uh, dress up, help us serve. Uh, I don't know, make it all seem authentic and intense. Tell me about David. What? Your husband. He's very... I'm curious about him. Do you know David? Oh, yes. David. But David doesn't know anyone in London. I know David from before. Before? It's been a long time now. Too long. Oh, I see. A lot of catching up to do. Is that you? Oh, I mean, it looks like the real thing. Well, it should. From Canada? I mean, you found it. From Winnipeg. Oh, David from Winnipeg. Oh, well. Yes, I know. So just be a minute. What? What kind of person is he? Oh, you know David. He's David. I told you, I just know David. It's been so many years. What? Just an old acquaintance. Tell me about him.
to be so long, sir. Huh? Oh, the players all right? That's all they got. Uh, sure. Yeah, there, there you go. Have one yourself. Oh, so. They, um... Uh, really fixed this place up like new. Big pardon, sir? Well, it's like new. Uh, you wouldn't know this place had ever been bombed out in the war. Oh, yes, sir. Direct it. How did you know about that, sir? Uh, my father, uh, he was right here when it happened. Is it a picture? Yeah, he was, he was here having a drink uh, June 13th, 1944. Yes, they kept saying that cherries were finished. It was all over, the bombing anyway. They didn't have an air force left. But you didn't know about the rockets? Doodlebugs. Oh, yes. Oh, thanks. I'll have one of those. They just started sending those rockets over, sir. Mm. And, uh, we were hit the first night. Must have been awful. Oh, it was a horrible sight to us, sir. Well, I was lucky to get out, sir, eh? <laughs> Lots of them didn't. No, my, my father didn't get out. I'm sorry, sir. No, that was a long time ago. If you don't mind, I ask. Yeah? We met somewhere before, eh? Hey? Not recently, I mean, a, a long time back. No, no, you must have known my father. No, you all right. No. Anyway, I'd better get back. Uh, my wife must be... Uh... What is it, Mr. Whittaker? I... Who's shaking like a leaf? Who... Who... Who's that person over there? Where? Oh, over there by my wife. Oh, uh, he's not one of ours, sir. No, uh, he's different. Oh, my God. Lots of them dress up, of course, sir. Masquerade. Pretend it's 1940 again. Well, there's a lot here tonight like that. My God. Only nine then, sir. Yes. He's my father. What? He's my father. Hey, wait a minute. Mr. Whitaker. Wait a minute. Wait up. Which one? That man. Yeah, he's beginning to give me the creep. That man, boy. Where is he? He was I've been worried to death. Where did he go? He just left all of a sudden. Where is he, Amy? David, which one? Right now. I lost him in the crowd. He was scary. I can't see him he's anymore. Asking about you, he kept staring and staring. David, it was so creepy. Huh? He what? wanted to know what you were like, how you grew up. Yeah. What yeah. you did as a kid. David, did, did you know him? Yes. Yes. He's my father. Oh, David, don't say that. Amy, I... It's so hard to explain. I... I can't explain it. There's been a funny... But something funny going on since we've been here tonight. Please, David. No. I felt my father's presence here. I felt it. No, David, it's okay. It's just that your imagination went wild. He's here. He's always been here. He's here tonight. No. Yes. Yes, he is. He's in the crowd here somewhere. He's here somewhere, moving about. Get Satan, you, David. <laughs> like he's leading me on. Always one step ahead. No, David. Somewhere. Here. There. There. Oh, over there. What? Over there. See? Oh, that's the soldier. David? Okay, come on. Let, let's go. David, wait. David. David. <laughs> Where is he? Huh? The soldier who was standing here. Uh, what soldier? David, please stop this. Where's Reg? Uh, Reg is an here tonight, sir. What do you mean he's not here? There. Over there. The soldier? Over by the door, see? David, no. He's leaving. Wait. David. David. <laughs> No, no, I... Uh, you should be out on the street like that. Just a blackout. Blackout? Like... What are those buildings? Those buildings weren't there before. Oh, listen, love. What, what's that sound? Eh? Hey? That sound? What's the sound? It's a siren, isn't it? Then it's a siren. Oh, my God. Air raid sirens. They've been sounding every night this week. It's all false alarms. Ain't nothing to worry about. You want me to find your doctor, love? <laughs> yes. Yeah. What, what year is this? Eh? Just tell me what year this is. Well, it's 1944, isn't it, Mr. Uh, G? Uh, oh, G? Uh, G? Oh. oh, 
You heard me. Where's the man in charge? Where's Reg? A soldier. Reg ain't in. What? Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Oh, Reg, sure, he's on duty tonight. And uh, Frank, go fetch Reg, will you? Tell me, David. Tell me what's happening. It's, it's a bomb. A bomb. A bomb gonna fall. Sometime very soon. Oh, no. Amy, look at me. I'm... There's nothing wrong with me. I just want you to look around for a moment. <laughs> Somehow, Amy, believe me, please. Somehow, this is... It's not 1981. What? It's, it's crazy. I can't explain. This is really 1944. No. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, he's young Reg now. Young Reg? Hey, sorry, I missed him before. But that's not Reg. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are Reg. I? David. Reg, you and your friends here... <laughs> I have to tell you very quickly, you're in very great danger. Walk, walk away from this place fast. Take as many people with you as you can. See you on about. I'm on about a bomb that's going to be, that's going to fall on this place in a very short time. Now, clear this room, please, now. Uh, Reg, get your friend out of here before he gets hurt. Look, there hasn't been a bomb fall on London in six months. Mr. What are you trying to do? Start a panic? Don't ask me how I know, Reg. I know, that's all. Please, I'm perfectly sane. I mean, Jerry's finished in the air. Everybody knows that. Kaput. He's bombing. Get him out. It's a missile. A rocket. Mister, I'm warning you. You believe me, don't you, Reg? Yeah. Yeah, you believe me. I know you do. I'll, uh, see what I can do, all right? David, that soldier here. Yes. Coming over here. Yes. Nothing like the old songs, eh? That's what my old man used to sing in the first war. Hello, David. Listen, soldier, you can help me get these people out. Me? Eh? Quiet. Hey, hey, quiet, everyone. Oh, my God, the moon! The airport hole! Down 
in here. He's going to go any second. Okay, okay. Thomas, there's a door at the other end. We can get out the back house. Victory Cafe. David, don't go in there. It'll be okay, Amy. You said so yourself. Welcome, welcome to the Victory Cafe. Reg! Reg. Yes, uh, hello. It turned out all right, Reg. For you, too. Oh, nice to be here. Um, yes, well, uh, the step in, step in. You just take a giant step back into it. Yes, we the have, time Reg. It's that 19th year. It was from the falling on London Town. Oh, Reg, I'm so happy you're okay. What? Uh, we have a reservation. Name's Whitaker. Reservation. Yeah. I don't think so, Reg. We'll have a drink and then we'll find our table. Uh, this way. My father was shipped over to England with the rest of the division in 1944. I never saw him. Now. Just photographs. Then he, uh... The telegram arrived. It was the usual bad news, of course. And afterwards, a good officer visited my mother to say that my father had been there. had been this bomb that fell and uh, he'd been getting other people out. And for this, he uh, received a medal. Wow, you get your reward in heaven, eh? You have just heard Reunion at the Victory Cafe by Tom McDonnell. Featured in tonight's cast were Roger Dunn as David and Nani Griffin as Amy, with Henry Comer as Reg and Frank Perry as Rowley. Others in the cast were Terence Durant, Michael Wincott, and Maxine Miller. The singers were Sean Mulcahy, George Murray, Karen Marklinger, Michael Wincott, Terence Durant, Henry Comer, and Maxine Miller. Musical decor by Lou Snyder. The recording engineer was David Hoyle, with sound effects by Stephanie McKenna. The production assistant was Peggy Este. Tonight's program was produced and directed in Toronto by Fred D.L. The executive producer of Nightfall is Bill Howell. And now, here is a final word from your host. Hello again. Next week on Nightfall, we enter the mind of a very special ten-year-old. Only to find that we are not the first ones who've been there. But why not right now? I'm a fast learner, Tom. Look how fast I'm learning to grab it when you finish with them. I just reach right in and take it now. Yeah? Oh. But I'd sure like to be invisible soon, okay? Gerald, 
a new play by Bill Gray of CBC Calgary, introducing Danny Hyam, age 10, in the title role, as we bring you radio that's never too old to start and never too young to play for keeps. That's next week on Nightfall. Until then, careful of the edge. Ah!